We just had the back-to-back -back jersey finds. We got the Nike Cavaliers LeBron James jersey for five bucks. That one's pretty clean. And this one is a champion tune squad. I think this is a vintage one, just based on the uh, logo and everything being this worn. Could be wrong, but pretty worn logo. Four bucks. Michael Jordan on the back. I will take that. That might go in my collection. Not sure. We are killing it today here at the Thrift. Chaps Ralph Lauren color blocking. You can see the stitching right there. Nice color block, polo, basic in the back. Got some more color blocking. That one's fly into the cart. Let's go. got back from the two thrift stores we ended up going to Goodwill and Salvation Army and we did very well at both of them I think the total spent today was around 125 135 bucks around there somewhere but um, I'm gonna go ahead and go through everything that I got and I'm gonna start with the stuff that I got at the Salvation Army first and then move into the stuff at Goodwill hopefully all this footage is coming out really well because last weekend's footage actually ended up getting corrupted that's why there wasn't a video out last week but hopefully this goes well so let's hop right into it here we go Alright, so we got a lot of pieces to go over, so I'm not going to talk about every single one individually. Um, but this first one, Bonobos, men's button front and long sleeve shirt. Uh, I forget what color was on sale at Salvation Army today, but it says 5 bucks on it. Like I said at the beginning, we paid 125 for everything. I think I'll get around uh, 25 to 30 out of this guy. Next item, another Bonobos. This is a long sleeve sweater, and this guy should go around the 20 to 25 dollar mark. Right, here we have a pair of Lululemon leggings, again five bucks, and these guys will go for around 30, it's getting ready to be fall, so long sleeve stuff is in. Most of the, um, or at the thrift stores they had the long sleeve stuff coming out, the jackets, the sweaters and stuff. Go through it now before it gets picked through because gold is in there, you just got to pick it out. Alright, so here's one I actually want to talk about. This is Bulwark, not a super great brand or anything, but this is a Bulwark FR, which is fire resistant um, or retardant. I don't know which one it stands for. I forget. But uh, fire retardant clothing sells super well. Welders buy it. Um, people working in like mechanics and stuff, they buy it, and it sells very well. This will go for between 25 and 30 bucks, and I will pick these up all day long. Just make sure there is no holes in the uh, sleeves or in the shirt anywhere, and no major burns. Same, so little scuffs here and there, no big deal. But fire resistant or fire retardant clothing very good to look out for. It's in like Bulwark, Carhartt, um, brands like that. So good to keep an eye out for. Look out for the FR. Next we just have a basic woman's denim Ralph Lauren button front shirt. Anything um, denim that's Ralph Lauren will sell pretty well. This will go between $25 and $30 and it should sell relatively quickly now that we're moving into the fall season. Here we have a Umbro full zip hooded windbreaker jacket. Umbro is not a brand I find very often, or don't find very good stuff very often, 
but the windbreaker hooded jackets like this that are unmarked or anything should sell pretty well. Seven bucks on that guy. I think that's a pretty normal price for my Salvation Army, but seven bucks on this guy, and I think I'll get about 30 out of it. Here's another one I don't pick up very often. It's Cabela's. Um, it's an okay brand, but the reason I ended up picking up this vest is because it is 550 down um, line, as you can see right here on the tag. It says 550 goose down, and goose down stuff sells very well. There's a few little marks on it, but I make sure they I made sure they were able to rub off before I bought it. And this jacket should or this vest should go anywhere between 35 and 40 bucks, just because of the 550 goose goose down. Here's a brand I don't find very often. It's cool. You can see it right there, K U H L. And these are just basic gray uh, jean pants. And they're not jeans, they're just like um, outdoors pants. But Cool's a very good outdoor brand. Anything Cool is going to sell pretty dang well from hats to shorts to pants to shirts. I buy it all. Um, I just don't come across it very often in my area. But when I do find it, it sells very well. These should bring around 30 to 35 bucks, I think, for the comps on these. Um, I might be a little off on that, but those are not a bad pickup. I'll pick up Cool all day. Another good brand you see everybody talking about, Patagonia, super hot, super in right now, and it is starting to turn from more of an outdoors brand into a fashion brand right now, unfortunately, which kind of sucks because, I mean, it just means the quality is not going to be as good on a lot of their stuff as it was, but um, five bucks on that guy, it's a woman's flannel, and this should go anywhere between 20 and 30 bucks. Um, it just depends on the sizing and the type of flannel it is. I haven't looked this specific one up. Here's an item I want to talk about. This is a cycling jersey. As you can see right there, it has the pockets in the back for your water bottles or your snacks or whatever you're bringing work or whatever. But the reason I picked this one up was because it's a Giordana. Giordana, I don't know how to say that um, that very well, but I've sold this brand before, and it is a good brand to sell in cycling jerseys. It's more of a vintage brand. This one had like a metal pool tab on the front, which the other ones I had didn't have. But um, you'll see like a lot of Canaries and other other cycling jerseys, but this brand in particular sells very well. Um, this is a vintage one, and unfortunately it doesn't have like any huge like sponsor names on it or anything, which would be awesome. They're more like local ones, but I think with this colorway and how it looks, I, I think I can get between 40 and 50 bucks on this guy. I was actually pretty surprised to find this. This is a, uh, it's just a basic fleece, woman's North Face fleece jacket. But North Face and my Salvation Army is always marked up like super high. They're always asking like 10 plus bucks for just like basic fleece jackets. And this one surprisingly enough got through at three bucks. So I went ahead and snagged that. And this will be between, this will probably be a 20 to $25 piece because it's like the fluffy one. It does have some like fuzz balls on it and stuff, but I'll just lint roller that off and hopefully that'll come off. Um, maybe throw it through the dryer once, but I will pick up North Face stuff pretty frequently as long as the price is right just around me they tend to mark it up a lot so this piece is pretty cool it's a vintage chaps ralph lauren polo t-shirt as you can see it's got a nice color blocking on it which is the reason that i picked it up um, you don't want to pick up the regular flat basic polos they don't sell for that much i mean if you're getting them at like the bins or something maybe you can make a profit on them but this one in general just because of the color blocking is the reason i picked it up and it does have the stitch and embroidery on the front um, on this piece, I think I'll get between 20 and 30 bucks, um, just depending on depending on the offer. So here's another brand I don't pick up unless the price is really good. It's Lacoste. Um, this is just a basic button front long sleeve shirt. It's in really nice condition, and I paid three dollars for it. Like I said, I don't pick it up unless the price is right because Lacoste stuff is on the lower end of stuff that I sell. I try to keep my average gross price above 20 bucks, but Lacoste polos, if I get them cheap, I'll sell them between 15 and 20 bucks because they they sell super fast. And this button front in particular should sell at the $20 mark pretty easily. And I can get them out of my inventory super quick because Lacoste has a very good following and people buy it. Alright, so this is probably my favorite find of the day. It's not worth a ton, but it's a champion Toon Squad Michael Jordan jersey. It does have some fading, some wear up there on the front of the Toon Squad. I think it's one of the vintage ones. It really doesn't matter too much. The price isn't that different because they've been produced forever. But I picked it up for four bucks and I think this is going to go into my personal collection. So this is a wild piece. This is a Western, um, sorry, a Wrangler Western shirt. And Wrangler I don't pick up very often unless the print is crazy. And this print is crazy. 
I wish it did have the pearl snap buttons. It doesn't, unfortunately. They're the normal buttons on it. But Wrangler stuff that has crazy patterns and stuff sells super well if you know how to keyword it right. So the last thing from Salvation Army I'm going to talk about are the books that I bought. I bought six different books. And I don't do anything special with the books. I don't have a scanner or anything like you'll see some resellers doing. Um, I just use the Amazon app and sc scan the barcode and send it into Amazon that way. So I just open up the app, I scan it, click on it, and then go to the solds or whatever. And I paid like a buck or two a piece on these. Softbacks are a buck, hard covers are two bucks. Um, but you can see right there, after fees and everything, I'll make $11.08 on this book. And this was one dollar in, so I'll make about ten bucks profit on this one. I also don't go through all of the uh, books and go through them one by one. I skip the story books. I only pick out like the textbooks or the like how-to books or like a niche specific topic book because those are the ones that tend to sell at a higher price. And I don't pick up books that are like I will make like a buck on or something like that. It's just not worth the time for me. Um, but if I make like ten bucks on the book or something like that, I'll pick that up for sure. And for as for like the book rank and stuff, I won't pick up books that are like over a million in rank. Under a million, I'm fine with selling because they'll just I'll send them into Amazon. They'll sit there until they sell. Um, this book right here, Softback. This is the one I showed you guys in store. After fees, I will make thirty two dollars off of it because um, this was a dollar one dollar cost. So I'll make about thirty two bucks on this book. So no fear coding. Another one dollar buy. I'll make about ten dollars off of that one. Theology of the New Testament, I'll make about $11 on. So this one actually was probably my best find of today out of everything. It's called The Art of Space. And it has a relatively high rank at uh, 500,000, so half a million in rank. But I paid two bucks for it, and after fees and everything, I should net around $104 off of this one book. So that is an awesome profit right there. I'll sit on it for a while, it'll sit in my Amazon inventory, but picture books and stuff that were made at a high quality tend to sell well, and that's the reason I looked this up, because it is like an art book, and space is a really interesting topic, so at 106 bucks, I can't complain about that, so that was a fantastic find. So arguably, asterisk, this is the most valuable book that i found, and I said asterisk because Technically, on Amazon, this book is going for the most, but I'll show you why it's not as good as it looks, and this is something you gotta look out for when you're buying books. So if you, you see this right here, I scan it on Amazon, and after fees, it says that I will make $1,000 on it. <laughs> Crazy, right? So this book, $1,000 is the lowest listed price on Amazon right now, as you can see right there. However, if you look at the listing, we'll go back one page, it is four and a half million in rank. So there's only two listed, it's at four and a half million in rank. And this is the only reason I bought this book today was to show you guys this. If you are going to scan books and scan items, pay attention to the rank. This thing, if I send it in, it'll sit in inventory forever. I'll start accumulating fees because no one's gonna buy this for a long, long, long time. And at that price, I, I doubt it'll ever sell, it'll ever sell honestly. But I will, just because I bought it, I'll list it on there and hopefully sell it for something um, at some point in time. But I'm going to sell this Merchant Fulfilled and not uh, send it into Amazon FBA. I'll, I'll Merchant Fulfill this one. But just be careful when you're scanning books. This is not a $1,800 book or whatever. It's a $1,184 book. It, it, it just won't sell at that price. Um, I can list it there and it might be the lowest listed one on Amazon, but... I highly doubt anybody's going to pay that for this book. So arguably, can you find it anywhere else online or anything? No, I couldn't find it anywhere else for cheaper for sale. So arguably, is it worth a thousand dollars? Yes, but don't bank your buck on it because I'm not, and it'll probably sit for a long, long, long time before it sells. And I guarantee it doesn't sell at that thousand dollar mark. So yeah, just be careful with what you buy. All right, now I'm going to hop into all the Goodwill stuff. I'm going to start with the two pairs of shoes that I ended up buying. And this is the first one. They're the Nike Air Max Speed Turf Giants Edition. Um, pretty clean. No super big flaws on them and stuff. Once I clean them up, they'll look super nice. The bottom's a little dirty and stuff. But I paid 10 bucks for these. 
and it looks like these are going between $50 and $75, and that should be a relatively quick profit. There was a couple that sold each month, so I'll list them down there, and hopefully these sell pretty well. So here's the second pair of shoes. These are the 2009 Nike Air Royal Mids, and I had to look at my phone to read that, but looking up shoes is really easy. There's like a number right under the, on the inside of the label that you type in, and that's how you find the comps, but these are apparently a pretty rare um, shoe, and again, I paid 10 bucks for these, and it looks like they're going between 75 and 100 bucks, so pretty good score on those. They're, if these were my size, I'd actually keep them, but unfortunately, they're not. All right, and on to the clothing. Uh, by the way, all the clothing at this Goodwill was 20% off, so whatever you see on the price tag, take 20% off of it. That's what I ended up paying. Um, this is a Brooks Brothers 346 um, Windbreaker dra uh, jacket. Brooks Brothers isn't a brand that I pick up very often at all because it's a pretty common brand and it doesn't sell for very much. However, the 346 is the better end of it, and this is a Windbreaker jacket going into fall. So I know the windbreakers will sell well, and I looked this up. It looks like the comps are between 35 to 40 bucks on this guy right here. All the jackets, I believe, at this Goodwill are seven dollars and fifty cents. Yeah, seven dollars and fifty cents, twenty percent off of that. So here is a polo Ralph Lauren long sleeve shirt. Again, I don't pick these up very often, but as you probably saw in the video, this is brand new with the tags on it, and it retails for ninety-eight dollars and fifty cents. As you can see down there. Definitely won't get that much for it. Um, I'll throw it up for around 30 to 35 bucks probably and end up getting that relatively quickly since we're getting ready to head into the fall season. Like I said, all the fall items have been coming out the past week or so, so make sure you're hitting up your Goodwills and stuff if you're in the clothing reselling game because now's the time to buy before everybody gets in on there. That cost me five bucks, by the way. All right, I actually couldn't find comps, exact comps on this piece, but it's a Nike Team USA Soccer dry fit long sleeve shirt uh, as you can see it has a one fourth zip on the front but I know from experience that Team USA soccer stuff sells pretty well I just couldn't find one with a one fourth zip on it but ones without it were selling around 30 bucks so I'm probably going to ask somewhere around that region without um, for this shirt since this one does have a zip paid five bucks for it and I expect that to still sell pretty fast even though I couldn't find comps on it I think 30 bucks will sell sell that pretty well all right, here's another soccer piece. This is a, another uniform. This is a Nigeria, yeah, Nigerian soccer jersey. Um, Adidas, pretty basic, nothing special there. Not a huge team to look out for or anything like this, but this was the FIFA World Cup edition for the jersey. And when I looked it up, it looks like this one was going between 20 and 30 bucks. And there weren't a ton of them selling, so I'm going to probably list it more on the high end and then take any, any reasonable offer. Um, on that guy. And one more soccer jersey. This is a Umbro England jersey. Again, pretty basic on the back. You can see it has like a embellished uh, logo on there. I don't know if it picks up on the camera, but it's pretty cool. Um, this one, not super valuable or anything. England's not a super desirable team, but it will sell and it should be between 20 and 25 dollars. Alright, and here's a brand I don't find very often, St. Lorette. YSL, super good brand. If you see pretty much anything YSL, you should grab it because it's a designer brand. Um, paid five bucks for this guy again and didn't see anything wrong with it. I'll list this up there in the 20 to 25 dollar mark, I believe is what these go for. Um, I didn't look this one up, I just know it off the top of my head to buy it. So that should be 20 to 25 bucks right there. I don't know why I've been coming across so many of these lately. I, I haven't for like a long time and then all of a sudden all of the untuckets start popping up in the last like month. This is just another basic button front shirt. I'm not complaining. I'll pick them up all day long as long as they want to put them out. Paid five bucks. Should get between thirty and thirty five dollars. Really really easy on untucket shirts. So here's a pair of shorts. All the shorts in the store were on sale at ninety nine cents so it doesn't matter that the price tag says four bucks it was still ninety nine cents but this is a pair of the North Face hiking shorts the belt looks like it's a little stretched out, as you can see, but, you know, for 99 cents, I'll sell them. So these were a very pleasant surprise to find. Um, I didn't get one, not two, but three pairs of Miss Me's, 
and they were all priced at the normal Jean price of eight or seven dollars and fifty cents at this Goodwill. Um, if you don't know, miss me. It's a designer brand of jeans. sells really well between the thirty to thirty-five dollar or thirty to forty dollar mark, depending on the make. All right, I think this is the last piece for today. This was a Adidas Real Madrid. That's Real Madrid's logo right there. It's a soccer team. Um, full zip track jacket. Uh, the Trefoil logo on the Adidas is the one you want to look for because it's like in the vintage style. I think this is a newer one, like a remake one, but you can see down here it's got the official license tag. And this one I didn't look up, I didn't bother looking it up because I just know it'll sell. I'm guessing around the $30 mark on this guy, and that was 5 bucks. So yeah, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for this video. Um, I know a lot of you guys who watch my channel aren't super into clothing or like the thrift stores, you like the garage sales, you like the auctions, you like you like the going out into the wild and hustling. Um, I In my area, it's just in, in Cincinnati, the thrift stores are there year round and during the winter when there's not the garage sale season and stuff, thrift stores have clothing in abundance, which is the reason I got into clothing. Um, I didn't know anything about it when I started, and now it's one of my highest selling niches in my stores. I sell thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars worth of clothing every single year. And, I mean, it's great because it's small, it's lightweight to ship, it packs down easy in storage, so if you're confined for space, clothing is great. It's just a pain to learn, but once you learn it, there's so much money to be made, and hopefully these videos are showing you that um, or you follow me on my Instagram and it shows you that because I post a lot of stuff on my finds on there but clothing if you're not in the niche and you want to get into it hopefully this puts some bolos on your list and you're able to kind of see what to look out for in your own thrift stores but yeah remember to subscribe like and comment if you saw anything you want let me know I'm more than willing to uh, work with you guys on prices and you know make special deals for my subscribers out there until next time though Keep treasure hunting and keep on hustling. Peace.